scroll down on the transcoder, if those things aren't green at the bottom of the transcode page, uh, we're probably not on the air. Yeah. So I guess I'll keep talking. I don't know if we're on or if we're not. Um, let me reload this page and see if we're still on. I go home. Uh, I'm showing I'm still on as well. So Yeah, and the thumbnail just came back up for us. So maybe it was down for a minute and just came back up. Okay. All right, so we should be back online. All right. So anyway, going back to my Kohler discussion that we're having discussion with is that they, anyway, so Kohler's saying that their scientists and engineers have uh, uh, engineered their, their, their toilets to get the job done on as little as 1.4 gallons of water. I think the jury is still out. You know, even Howard Stern talks about the travesty of having a low-capacity toilets, and maybe this is just a guy thing. I don't know. No, it's not. But uh, Kohler, Kohler also has a – now, when I'm in the shower, it's my only time to really, like, be able to think, enjoy the hot water, relax. I really don't play music in the shower. It's not something I'm really – I don't sing in the shower. It's kind of my time to, you know – So oftentimes I come up with remarkable ideas and have to jump out of the shower and write them down so I don't forget them. You know, it's a place to think, right? People say the bathroom is a place to do that. Well, I, my place is in the shower. But they've come up with shower heads that has an insertable Bluetooth speaker. So it showers around the edge, and in the middle is a speaker, and you can uh, rock out the ACC, ACDC – uh, listen to Highway to Hell uh, while you're while you're taking a shower uh, with this insertable battery rechargeable speaker for your shower head and uh, completely easy to you know a 15 minute change out job to be on this uh, new shower head. They've also got oh he Mike say he's seeing the webcam now so I don't know what shot we're on. We're we're not on the webcam we're okay, on the two so, shot so maybe it's it's just coming back. So um, one thing that uh, I found that was pretty cool is that almost all of the um, Kohler and other companies now have um, smart faucets that will dose out water a cup at a time. You can say, hey, assistant, ass assistant uh, give me one cup of water, and the, the faucet will give you one cup of water perfectly measured. As you're holding the boiling pan of water or the pan that needs something in it so you can cook. So that was something that I saw that was pretty cool. Another thing I saw, and I, I really blew it here, is I saw a Christmas tree with Christmas tree strands that have, like, you can t tune it to music. And it's red, green, blue, orange, pink, yellow, absolutely beautiful, rotates in different colors and shades. And it's not like your normal... Christmas tree. You can do a red, white, and blue. You can actually make it a star. You can actually put a face on it. It's really wow. crazy. And uh, I'll find the vendor and I'll get the name of it out there. But th if you are into s decorating, this is the product for you. And the most exciting product I found for us adults is the Home Bar by Keurig. It's only available currently in six states. It's going to be soon in 13 where you can get the perfect Moscow Mule, you can get the perfect margarita, you can get a signature drink made by the same machine that uses that makes coffee. Now, five drinks for, or five cubes for about fourteen dollars. Okay. And uh, to sh to uh, to areas in which um, is allowed to be shipped in right now, and uh, Michigan is not one of them. Florida is. Nevada will be soon. And uh, so anyway, I want one of these devices terribly bad. I'm getting mine here at the show. You are, you are going to order. I think I may have mine sent to my daughter, but then again, I guess I'm going to have to ask her to reship the, right. the booze back to Michigan. So it, it really becomes kind of a pain. Uh, but it looks like we've got a guest coming on. Is this a uh, one that someone grabbed or is this someone that... Uh, I'm told this is our, our 540. Okay. 
So Jeffrey was up here, and he didn't stay long, did he? He left, didn't he? He did. Um, I saw him at lunch yesterday, and he was asking about our setup. Uh-huh. And, oh no, this is not our 540. This is instead of. So, yes, this is an add-on. Okay. So it's all right. We'll get the information for him in a minute. But for those of you that may be expecting or are have a, a an adult or, I mean, a daughter or a, a, you someone in your family, Willow is a, 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 a breast pump that is quite remarkable. Um, it's I think it's three hundred ninety nine dollars. It's a they've got the Willow three available. It pumps seventeen percent more efficient on pumping milk, and it's not your grandmother's uh, pump. It does it without it does it completely automated. You don't have a bunch of hoses sticking out. It's completely self contained. And the milk is contained within a nice pouch that can be stored very easily in the refrigerator uh, or go anywhere with you versus uh, some of the more traditional uh, breast pumps out there. So Willow's one that's a great product. It's got rave reviews across the country. And again, uh, they've redefined what breast uh, pump can do. It's quiet. You can use it at work. You can actually work with it working, which is kind of interesting. Uh, a gal ran a marathon wearing a willow breast pump, so she even exercised as well uh, while using it. So this gives you an idea of what's possible. And, of course, there are all kinds of now of automated cat litter devices out there. I think I've seen as many as five at the show. So if you want a, 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 a cat litter box that cleans itself, except for having to carry out the actual litter later, um, and keep the fresh letter fresh. This is a great product. Um, they're very expensive, though, but I'm going to tell you, uh, some cat owners are more proactive than others in clean, cleaning the litter box. I've walked into some houses before and went, woo, and they could have used one of these. So if you want to keep the woo factor down where you're not having someone come in and say, Woo, smell that cat litter. Um, this is probably a $400 wise investment. Um, and by the way, just remember, <laughs> if you live there, you may not smell it. Okay, what have we got? <laughs> um, we, don't have, we won't have it up on the teleprompter. But if it's a wearables, and if you could just have them introduce themselves. That's going to work. Have Alrighty. them come on up. Come on down. And the one I was looking at was from Litter Robot from Whisker, and uh, you can uh, check that out online as well. So uh, we've got a walk up here today, which is going to be exciting. We'll have to see what they've got. A wearables. All right. So let me put my phone down. Ah, more health tech. Exciting stuff here. Don't worry. Take your time. You're all right. We're not rushed at all. All right. Come on down. And we definitely have some wearable tech here. And do we have him mic'd up? All right, so he's setting the microphone for you. I wonder, you're going to have to help me with your last name. Amrit? It's Amrit Bandy. Okay. The last name is Bandy. It rhymes with candy. Oh, outstanding. It's r really long. I was like, whoa, I'm going to destroy that. Is And you're from Awareables. Awareables. It's yeah. Aware Wearables. Yeah, awesome. So obviously y we've got a little, uh, you know, a little bed here. <laughs> so... I'm assuming, and based upon the literature you put on this, you're helping us sleep. Yes, and we are the sleep improvement company that's actually going to tell you how to get better. We are built with the needs, the lives, and the psyche of people with insomnia or poor, broken sleep in mind. And we have an app that actually tells you how to get better, which, which is what is missing in the industry. A lot of monitors, not A enough lot people. A lot of monitors. Not enough people telling you how to get better. So the app actually delivers adaptive, personalized recommendations to you uh -huh. via cognitive behavioral therapy sure. for insomnia so that you can have weekly programs with daily guidance that holds your hand to get better. So, you know, I've been lucky throughout my life. I've only had a couple of uh, episodes of insomnia the last two or three days, but some people really have chronic insomnia and they really suffer a lot. 
uh, some people to the point where it's really their health is affected. So w in obviously you've got the wearable technology where you're doing the monitoring and you're making suggestions. What is it? What have you found in your testing so far in using this product, having people use this product that have had insomnia? Yeah, so uh, what we find out is that both, first of all, there's an information problem. People don't know how to get better. One of the problems is that there are less than 500 therapists in America out of the 100,000 who are actually trained in sleep. So the medical system is geared for sleep apnea right. and sends home these insomniacs with a sleeping pill way too early yep. and for too long. So we found out that we get uh, all the insomniacs who are jumping on to try the system said that I've tried everything and nothing works and I don't know if I'm improving. So if one, you need to tell me how to get better. Right. Personalized, not, not medication. Yeah. And we see that if they use the system for around two to four weeks, they start, they start off at usually four to five hours a night while they lie in bed for eight hours and the other three hours, it's usually 3 a.m. I call them the 3 a.m. club. They wake up suddenly at 3 a.m. and they have stress. And they think about all the negative oh my things God, in their I lives. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get up in the morning, I'm gonna be tired, all yes, that stuff, right? Yes, and that is what actually perpetuates this bad relationship between you and the bed. So you and I could look at the bed as this wonderful place we sleep, yep. and insomnia is like, this is where I stress out. That's my enemy, right? That's my enemy. So we step them through these programs week by week and hold their hand. We, the daily guidance is very low burden, just a few minutes, because you don't have all the time in the world right. to analyze that. And this is going to be released as a standalone app early uh, this year. Okay. You know, one thing I found, too, is, you know, that old saying, count sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, and there is a little bit of truth to that, because when I've suffered some insomnia, then I will try to do something, some sort of counting exercise, Absolutely. something that basically... And what I have found is that it may take me a few cycles. Mm -hmm. You know, I may, I may have to go through a hundred count a couple of times, but usually that's almost enough to, to get me through that stress moment. So is this a type of, what, what type of activities are you having people do that are, you know, what is the app suggesting or what, what's the? What, uh, the one that is uh, the therapy with which we get the best improvement is actually called time in bed restriction or sleep restriction, which acknowledges that insomniacs sometimes spend too much time in bed right. trying to will it to happen. Oh, I see. So let's say you came to uh, told the app and we saw that through the device or your inputs that you're sleeping five out of the eight hours that you're in bed. Yeah. It would actually, as we see over here, would say, stay awake till 2 a.m. Oh. Every day for a week, and it won't be easy. Right. And wake up on an alarm at 7 a.m. Yeah. The app's job is to tell you then with minimal feedback that, hey, the first night might be horrible. Right. You might feel sleepy at 11. Yep. Stay awake till 2, and then you're going to hate me because at 2, you won't feel sleepy anymore. Right, right, right. But the app tells you this is what it's going to feel like. Like a quit smoking guy tells yep, you, yep. hey, the pangs last for five minutes, yep. no more. Yeah. So this will, you do that for a week, and then by the third night, you find out you're sleeping most of those five hours, and then we add 15 minutes or 30 minutes to it the next week, and you increase your, consolidate your sleep with your sleep drive. Yep. And then you push up now to around push seven up, hours. Push up. You know, I, and I went for many, many years where I operated on four and five hours sleep on purpose. Yeah. And it's not healthy. And it's really, it's really not. And any of you doing out there, I'm just going to tell you it's not. But I did. And, and I always said sleep is for the weak mm -hmm. because I operated very effectively on four or five hours sleep. But then I found out that I suffered from sleep apnea. So not only did I have getting four or five hours of sleep, I was also hurting it. Hurting so, my, yeah. so I really hurt myself, yeah. you know, in a big way. So um, the sleep apnea obviously changed my life and being on a CPAP machine, and then a lot of people have that. But this is a completely different situation. Yes. And it's not the same. And I have found, too, that if I'm in a situation where I'm, because I travel a lot and the time zone changes and I'm usually the second day I'm having a little bit of trouble sleeping, Oftentimes, I just say, forget it. I just get up. Yeah. I get up and I work for an hour or two and then, or do something, watch TV or whatever, and then try to go back to sleep. Um, so I'm sure that this, these techniques, something it has to change to get people back on track. And uh, hopefully this is, uh, is going to be successful for yes. you. 
these therapies do do? There's a couple of things that you mentioned. The one where you leave the bed, that's actually a very good thing, to not build a negative relationship yeah. of stress. The uh, guideline is actually go somewhere else, do something boring, like an audio book or right. a magazine, yep. and come back <laughs> when you're droopy. It's called stimulus control. Yep. And the part that you mentioned about actually uh, we need to change our mentality around sleep that it's very important because we're seeing effects of it in the long term. It's like a $63 billion burden on yeah. the industry yeah. for both healthcare and loss productivity. That's right. And it was cool that the DOD now says that, hey, we used to wear it as a badge of honor. That That's we're, right. We're SEALs. We don't need to sleep. I was DOD. So yeah. we don't need sleep. You're yeah. weak if you sleep. But it now it sleep is part of their triad. Right. Nutrition, activity, and sleep. As you said, you have uh, you've uh, faced apnea. What we did is that the apnea patients are at least catered for in the market. It's not a That's great right. system, but it's still there. Yeah. Insomnia is not. Yep. So we built our device to actually, and our app to take care of them. Our device will actually measure whether you get deep sleep or not. Do you get it in the first half of the night the way you should? Does REM increase the way it should? Right. Which posture do you fall asleep in faster? Yep. And with people who have apnea, once you have that machine, if you have residual insomnia because of your trauma with the bed, then we can help you with that. You know, and I think, too, is, and maybe you correct me if I'm wrong, but a good sign that you're not sleeping correctly and maybe have an issue with sleep apnea if you don't ever dream, that's kind of a warning sign because you're not, and at least I think it is because you're not getting deep enough. You're either waking up, coming up too high, and you're not getting in that REM, that REM sleep. So, yeah, so you get very fragmented sleep. Yeah. And if you don't get the yellow deep sleep in our visualization, you feel tired all the time. Right. Even if you get eight hours of sleep. And that is a big sign for actually not getting apnea patients often don't get the deep sleep. Right. Because your breathing never Cause calms cause down. Because yeah, you're, you're waking back up and you're yeah. kicking yourself to get around. But you're starting all over again. Yeah. yeah. So, but it, we're talking two different things. So let's just yep. be clear yep. of that here, everyone. We're so, but, um, but if you're suffering from sleep apnea, Sleep, sleep insomnia, mm -hmm. um, when do we expect a wearables to be out? When is, you say the app's going to be out? In the first half of uh, 2020. First half of 2020. As a standalone app, and okay. the device will be added on towards Christmas. Outstanding. What do you think the price point's going to be? Two hundred. Uh, the app will be a subscription-based, okay. nineteen ninety nine per month. Okay. But we expect you to have to use it for two to four months, and then you've learned what you need to. Right. We'll cap it at 100 so that you're not somebody who's paying like right. Netflix forever. Yeah. And the device will be added on at 249 Okay. And we're also working with therapists who are not trained in sleep to actually be able to use it to treat their insomnia patients. Outstanding. So that we can actually have this referral-based thing that works from all sides. Very, very cool. I want to thank you for Amit, uh, Amrit for coming on and talking to us about uh, wearables. And again, uh, keep an eye out for them. When you guys get ready to go to market, let us know. We absolutely will. And then we can uh, basically tell the audience that this is available on market, available for them. Will do. All right. Thank you, sir. It's thank been an excellent experience, and thanks for sharing your yeah, story, too. absolutely. Thanks. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. All right. So this is the second uh, guest we've had that's talked about sleep insomnia during the, the week here at CES. A different approach, uh, and it's good to see that people are paying attention to it and trying to. Uh, oh, thank you so much! Bring people some uh, some relief in this category. All right, our next guest is here, and um, ah, Lumi Charge. I know who we are. So. Do you have the sheet, no sheet for me? I can kind of see something on the screen. It should be popping up any second. All right. There you go. Okay, I didn't get the full screen. So, oh, there it is. So we've got Balaji Raghunathan, Raghunathan from VP of Operations from uh, Lumi Charge. So. You guys have been on, I think, on the show before. So tell me what's <coughs> new here for CES 2020. Yeah, we, we, sorry launched, about that. Oh, sorry. we launched our first product last year uh, at CES in Eureka Park, and we had the opportunity to be on your show. Uh, we had our first generation of Lumi Charges uh, last year. So now this year we are very excited to be at CES launching our, our newer model, Lumi Charge LD, and a couple of other products that we have launched last year as well. Um, so we have LumiCharge brings in a unique um, set of products that keeps your desk organized in a way to charge your phones, bring everything under an LED lamp. 
Uh, so we have our universal charger that, that which is which a built-in universal charger. Yeah. So that lets you toggle from a from a Type C. Oh, this is brilliant, folks. So what it, what he's done here is he's got a rotator that takes you from an uh, Apple iOS charger. The other way around. Go the other way to a standard micro mi USB. micro USB to a USB C. Correct. So you don't. It's not a modular thing you have to snap in. You just rotate it, and if you want to change devices, you can. Yes, you can, you can charge almost any phone in the market. Right. And we have also added a 10-watt wireless charger on there. Awesome. So you could go, right, so this one is a battery version, so it, it's not connected. It's not connected right now. So, okay. so what you could do is you can also leave your phone flat. Yep. Or you can leave your phone swiveled up. Oh, uh, okay. So you could have it. So you can put your phone on there; it'll right. still charge. charge or you oh. can go all the way up and leave your phone vertical. Nice. So okay. you can have your phone in three different positions. Like um, you could have it, you could set it like this, and it'll still charge. It'll still charge. Yeah. You could go like this. Yeah. And charge, or you could leave it all the way flat and leave it flat on top, and it'll charge. And you could still charge one more on the dock as well. Yep. So you get to charge two phones so you at charge once. Charge two, two at phones once, and as a built-in Bluetooth speaker. Okay. Um, and also comes with an uh, app that you can that you can pair the app through Wi-Fi connected to your Google Assistant and or Alexa and change the color and change the color, change the brightness, and make you make your speaker the default speaker for your Alexa or Google. Okay. And you can route your Google Music or Amazon Music through that. And this also p like you could also use Alexa change the color, change the right, temperature. Right. 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 Uh, Google. Okay, Google. Yeah. Google Assistant built in. So I see something back here. It says TF. What's that? Uh, that's a micro SD card. And so what do you use that for? Uh, songs. If you want to play oh, some songs so you through can like a micro SD card, you can plug the micro SD card in, play songs. If there are firm firmware updates, so we can send you the firmware update. Yep. Just download through the micro SD card, plug yeah, it in. Plug it in. And it goes in there. There's also an aux output. Mm -hmm. So if you have an MP3 player, you, can, you, can, you can plug it in and play music. And play music that way as well. That way. This is our um, the product that we are launching at CES. So we have a series of desk lamps as well, sure, uh, which have the same patented uh, multi-connector charger in it. Yeah. So it's a desk lamp, uh, lets you charge multiple phones at the same time. Uh, cool LED light um, and uh, desk lamp as well. What's this going to retail for? Ninety nine. Ninety nine dollars. And I think the thing too that's smart on this, and for those of you that you know, I, I've used a large, let's say you don't use this on the desk. Let's say you use this on the bed stand. And I think the important thing to know here is the color is, is not like it's going to overwhelm. Can you shut the light off? Yes, you can. You can shut the light off. So the light doesn't have to be on, and you can change the color completely. Right. Or, you look, oh, it's got different brightness levels, too, yeah. so you can bring the brightness level down. So if you do have this on the bed stand versus at... Your, your desk, you can at least have it so it's not overwhelming you uh, from, a, from a light standpoint. Correct. But uh, so <coughs> what that means it's connected via Bluetooth, Bluetooth when it says blue, blue, right? Right. And for those of you that are on, you can't see it, but there's an on off switch, there's a uh, plus <coughs> minus for volume control, volume, volume control and, and the light control. Light control. And that you can also, once you connect it to the Wi Fi and you pair the device. Yep. Uh, that also serves where you see the blue becomes your clock as well. So you get okay. to see your time so as well. So the time is on there as well. Time when is it, on there when as it syncs up. Syncs up, you got the time as well on there. Nice. So this is our uh, launch at CES. We have, like I said, we have three more products that we have launched okay. uh, since last year. So <laughs> the website is... Lumicharge.com. Lumicharge.com. L-U-M-I charge.com, folks. So that's where you want to go to find this. Again, available now, yeah? They yes, can buy it now. Right now. So, again, congratulations from getting to the point where you're getting the product ready to now it's on. We're always excited to see companies get to round two. I'm sure next year you're going to have some new products on the market. We'll get to round three to see where the product line goes and the adjustments you make. But uh, but thanks for coming on the show. We definitely appreciate yeah. you having you on. Uh, thanks for having me yeah, on the show. Absolutely. It's been great. Thank you. So, again, lumicharge.com, folks, to so check it out. Available on Amazon and all those locations as well? Yes, we have it on Amazon and our on our website as well, the lumicharge.com. Perfect. All, all right. right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank all you. Right. Thanks for having me yeah, on the absolutely. show. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing that we've seen throughout the show is definitely this uh, wide range of devices like this. And, you know, integrated charger to be able to change the angles and everything, I think, is really 
uh, pretty slick. It gives you the option to, um, you know, essentially have it set up the way you want. I think I would use that more on a in the bedroom than I right. would on a desk, per right. se. No, I agree. But, uh, you know, it depends on where you want it, you know. Or maybe and even, like, out outside at night on a patio. Yeah. Um, with all the features that it has. Yeah. You just want a little bit of light. You can charge your phone if you yeah. need to. It's got, a, it's got a good color, too. And, and, yeah. and I think I think, too, is that um, we have to be cognizant of this extra light that we're being exposed to. They've already talked about stuff that is, oh, yeah, I know what this is. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about it. We don't have anything on the teleprompter uh, since this is a... Don't don't worry. This is invited by you, from what y I understand. Yes, it is. Just one, two. Yeah. Yep. There we go. All right. So, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Mike Kittner from uh, 360 Rise, and we're from uh, Western New York, only in New York area. So, 360 Rise is a three. This is a 360 camera, and yes. See how small it is? And for those of you watching, it is remarkably small, again, and remarkably light. But uh, Mike and I spent some time talking two days ago, I believe, yep. and uh, talking about this product. And uh, I think once you guys hear about this, and number, one, number two, hear about the price point, uh, we're going to cause some of these to fly off the shelf. So, Mike, why don't you just give me the 411 on what this is, where they can find it, what it, how it's integrated, uh, you know, everything that is this typical pitch for this product. Okay, well, um, I call it a 360 Penguin camera uh, because it kind of looks like a Penguin camera. Um, it can shoot up to 5.7K, but a lot of people don't know H.265, so uh, I recommend staying in the 4K range. Yep. Um, it does 24 megapixel 360 photos. Um, it will last, uh, you can do live streaming directly to Facebook and YouTube. Yep. And if you're doing the live streaming... Through uh, the app. Through the app. Yeah, through yes. the app. Yep. yep, through the app. And that'll give you about an hour of battery time. And then also, because the stitching is all done inside the camera, you don't need the app. So you can actually do live streaming via AP mode oh. and trek right to your local router. And then right on the bottom here, we actually have a USB-C uh, connection port. Yeah. Uh, and that's also where you put in the SD card. And you can get unlimited power uh, and stream as long as you want. Matter of fact, I had uh, this sitting on my desk at home, and uh, everybody was just watching in 360 my cat sleeping on my <laughs> desk. <laughs> <laughs> and, and streaming not through your phone, but I guess you direct it to the access point. Yeah, exactly. So I think this is, a, you know, when, when I was, uh, we were playing around with this, and, the, and Mike had the app loaded up. It was pretty remarkable in itself that you basically have a, a 360 camera in this form factor, and the quality is good as the optics are simply exactly. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a 24 megapixel, it's incredible, and especially if somebody wants to get into 360 and kind of be dabbling around. Um, right now, you can get it on Amazon for 149. And you did, did you did you guys hear that? <laughs> 149. And for a 360-degree camera. That's and amazing. And check this out, too. Because of CES and for the next couple of weeks, there's an auto 15% discount coupon so tagged great. right on the Amazon. Control link room as needs well. one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're not going to find anything else like this. And we won't go into too many technical details, but I will tell you just that the technology and the intellectual property behind this um, how should we say it? Um, other people have tried to use that or have, yep, yep. and uh, you're not going to find the technology at $149. No. I mean, did you see my jaw you, did, drop? Did, did, yeah. Yeah. You don't normally so look over at me, Todd, when you're <laughs> So, so, so like, why did what? you think I invited Mike on? Because I'm just, you know, we were talking in the, and I was just like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> it is, and, it, and, and, and everything it's capable of really blew me away. And, you know, here's the thing, too. I've got a 360 camera that I bought from a company that starts with an S. S well, Samsung. I've hardly used it because I have to have a, have to have an, a Samsung phone. Got to have a special class of Samsung phone. There's, it, it's in it, in it, trying to get the video out. And it's, it's literally, I think it's a $400 brick. Yeah. That I, and it's a couple of years old. And it uh, it's rarely came out of my bag. But this. Well, it, here's the other thing that's really nice is when you're filming with this, you can take you can put up to 128 gig SD card yep. in there, 
you can take the chip out of this and speaking of Samsung, put it right in their SD headset, instantly play it. Wow. So you can film, instantly put it in, and see now full 360. That's cool. And, you, and you also, you, you said you can use really only any editing software that... Any editing software. It works great with the Adobe products okay. and stuff like that. Yep. You can do... Um, we give the ability to cut the video and stuff like that in the app sure. if you want to mess around with it that way. Yep. Um, you can also change the orientation. So, for example, if you are filming like this upside down, yep. everything you look at is, up, you know, is, is backwards. So you can flip it. So right in the app, you can actually turn it right side to, get it to where you want, and then be able to launch it that way. So, so some of you that are doing live streaming and stuff, so think about this as, a, as an output. You hang this some, from some corner or some place in your studio and put that, and you've got this full 360 view that you can switch to, and uh, I, I think it's remarkable. Well, you're going to love one more thing. We just finished this probably about a month and a half ago. Um, you can actually uplate, update the new firmware. Take the USB-C connector, plug it into your PC or your Mac, and now you can connect it to Facebook, oh. Skype, Google, and be able to do 360 conference room conferencing just by using their apps. It, it acts like a normal PC so, camera. So okay. how does, th if the people that are watching the live stream then, can they manipulate the... Can yeah, they yeah, because it's stored out in equal rectangular, so it's really stretched. Yeah. But when you um, run the, the actual 360 side, you can crop it, and now you can see the whole room just nice. <laughs> it just, it, what? It's so cool. You can put it right in the middle of the room, and you can see you. You know, you're talking around, see the whole thing in one pass. Wow. So we could actually use that, like, here. Yeah. When we want to show the entire show floor. We could. Have it back. Oh. Yeah, you could take it like this, like you've got your light here hanging right. on this. You just add it on. Matter of fact, you get this flexible tripod that comes with it, so you can add that on there, just pop it over the side, sit like this, and you can see people coming up, prepping for the show, what? seeing everything <laughs> going on. We can watch you, you know, doing all the magic tricks behind the scenes over there. <laughs> one see, now it's the corporate credit card. But That's but yeah. I, I need one for myself but and one for the business. But one forty nine plus the discount plus right the discount. now. Yeah, no, uh, we'll be buying a couple of these. I got, I got to call Scott as soon as we get off the air here. So I think this is where you know when I'm coming to CES, you never know what you're going to find, and. Uh, I think that what we have here is a product that uh, um, once this kind of the word gets out and we've produced a couple of videos on this and, and written some uh, written this up, uh, you might be out of stock. <laughs> That's okay. We'll order some more. <laughs> oh, here's another thing, too, that we just started with it. Um, this is what the Penguin normally looks like, okay? So it kind of looks like yeah. a, a Penguin setup. We can now, we sell these 3M skins. So... You can literally, we can give you the template, so if you want to print your own template, you can do that. But plus, we've got some camouflage one, pink ones, Barbie doll ones, whatever, you know, whatever so you want to buy do. A, I could buy a blank one and we can print it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, there you brand it so up. So, you brand it out to your own show, you know, yeah. Geek News or whatever you want to do, TV, That's whatever, right. you know, you, you're, you got everything you need. Wow. So, you know, th as I've been walking through the halls and, and talking to different people, you start running the credit card bill. You're saying, okay, you 300 for <laughs> this. <laughs> but to me, this is this is a price point that anybody can have a 360 camera. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, 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 it's, it's a, and if you don't use it a lot, it's the fun to have it. You go to Disneyland. You go to some place where you want to show something off. Or we you're go to Disney all the time. Or you're on travel. And oh, you, yeah. you just put this on a pogo stick and have it up. You know, and plus one thing, too, with a 360 camera is I think everyone needs a little experience in just being able to shoot some video with it because it's, you know, it's you're not pointing straight at something. You have to remember that it's shooting around, so you don't want it always in front of you, maybe on a little hider, or right. maybe you do want it in front of you, but, you know, everything is in view within a certain elliptical. So let's talk about that. How much up and down can it can Well, the actually, see? it's fully, uh, fully spherical, so it's 210 degrees on both lenses, and then there's good overlap between the two. So if you are this distance away, yeah. you're uh, out of the stitch seam. Okay. So everything will look nice and pretty at, th at that distance. Right. And that's if you're just on the seam side of it. Yeah. But anything in front, 210 degrees. Wow. That's it's really cool. It is really cool. So anyway, uh, 360rise.com. Yeah. 
And uh, 149 plus a show discount of additional 15%. 15% on Amazon. Yep. So we don't have an affa affi Amazon affiliate link here, but what we expect you to do since we've showed this to you today, take that 15% you save and throw that back at the tech podcast team by throwing a donation to the show. And we'll work and out something <laughs> too, you know. If, I well, we're, we're probably we're probably selling them right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, but but yep. uh, definitely check these out. And uh, I want to thank Mike for coming on. And I was just uh, really astounded. And he, here's another thing too: uh, American owner, American made. This is uh, this is a product that you uh, That's awesome. that you want to support. Yeah. yeah so. Thank you. And thank you for you know getting me on at the last minute. And yeah, yeah they know, came and incredible. asked me. And I was like, I don't know if we can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I said yes. But yeah. my heroes are all here. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, again, Mike, thanks so much. Stay in touch with us. And I know that you've got some stuff in the future planned, so we're excited to see what you do there. Hey, you got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty. Thanks for being on. Yep, thank you. So, 360rise.com. 149. No, I, I can't even. And we were just talking about things for people like me. Yeah. That I want to start up my own and yeah. get my feet wet. And that's actually something, that's not just a starter, like, I can do everything with that. Well, I can learn it, all of it. it well, and, and it, I don't know if I would com have that as my single shot for a live stream, but no, I think but that I would definitely uh, – there's all kinds of different ways you can play with that and have fun with it. And for and really, for the price point – Right. How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Even if it's in your bag for two weeks, you don't use it, you kind of bring it. So, oh, that's, that would be cool to have something 360. Because some of those are big, you know, they, right. and, and they take special software. It's like this one I got from Samsung. It drives – it was really, I probably should just put it on eBay and sell it because it's it's almost worthless to me. Um, but uh, what he's done there is, is really, really cool. So um, there's a whole additional story to that to that product that we won't get into. Okay. Uh, but I will say that uh, he is the inventor, created the IP, has the patents. Um, so it's, it's a awesome. really, really cool product. He was on product. the show last year. I think Danielle actually interviewed him. Yeah. yeah. Was and it, it was the it was called it was called something different at the time, right. but it's 360rise.com is the is the actual product now. Well, we've got about 10 minutes left here before we uh hit the top of the hour where we're going to bust out. So let me just give you guys a reminder what we're doing tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to go live again at 9 a.m. Pacific. We're going to go to 2 p.m. Pacific. Then we are going to are, are we going to 2 or 4? 2, right? Correct, 2 o'clock. So 2 o'clock, and then we'll wrap up our coverage tomorrow here. But uh, I tell you, this, the as I was walking through the halls today, uh, my opinion is that the at least based on the volume of people, I, I, I think the show numbers are down a little bit this well, year. Well, uh, that's interesting that you say that, and you're probably right. But I can tell you that when I went over to LVCC yesterday, yeah. Way more people than I personally so have may, ever seen so there. Maybe, so maybe but people today, just so many less. So many, so many people left, so I missed the rush. Yeah. I and it's been busy here continuously. True. And downstairs, wall to wall. So maybe maybe it's true. the same yeah, number. So I'm not sure because I was shocked. I even came back and told Scott, like, I was uncomfortable. It was so – because you're used to patches being really, really thick yeah, yeah, yeah. On, Monday, or on the first two days. But when you're banging shoulders every but three steps. But when it was every – and the – the lines for all the buses and the everything, which are nor I mean, they do move them very quickly, but yeah. the lines are crazy. But then today, we got there at opening, and there was nobody well, for a couple of hours. Yeah, so Friday, because everyone's out partying, and even me this morning, because I didn't have to be here this afternoon, I left the hotel at 9 a.m. I stuck around and did email, so okay. I got over to LBC about 9.30. And uh, I, you guys had went live about 8.15 in the morning. I said, wow, we're early going live. And uh, so I went over to LVCC, and I was done and back here by 1.32, so I got through pretty okay. quick. But there's, you know, there's still so much stuff we missed. We missed the autonomous cars, and I yeah. didn't get into any of that. Uh, but it's been a, an interesting show. A, a, there's absolute gold mine in the sands. Um, you know, if you've ever come to CES, I've never come to CES. If you want to see innovation, this is really the place where Tech West is what they call this is where the innovation really is uh, is happening. Matter of fact, I had to laugh though because I was looking at the bus and it said Tech West. I'm like, which one is the Sands? I said, well, that's Sands. I, I'm not used to calling it Tech West, right? Uh, but uh, 
So, so far, the show's been uh, really... Marlo Anderson from Tech Ranch, him and I both took this a different approach this year to the show, and I think you guys even to a certain extent as well. And he said, uh, the show's been amazing. And it's largely because we've spent more, t I call it grazing. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, grazing the, the vendors and then popping in and getting out and not having to worry about, you know, getting 25 interviews a day and so forth. So uh, I think I probably got a good 50, probably good, yeah, maybe 40 vendors I want to talk to after the show. That's and a we'll good amount. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And typically when I come to the show and really work, th work hard, I'll get 30 to 40 interviews right. just on the floor. But, you know, we've had, um, even though we've had some misses, we've had some pretty good volume through up here as well. I think we have, too. But I think, you know, it's really, uh, it's really disappointing, too, when we reserve spots for companies and turn others away, yes. and then they don't show up. And uh, it's That's why I hate to turn people away when they come up, you know. Yeah, it's, it's been historically that's been an issue at, at the show, and I really I don't know if any, because I think sometimes people get overwhelmed and they forget that they're supposed to be on right. or they miss an appointment or the PR person isn't really on top of things. Um, but like we just got a cool one right there with uh, 360 sure Rise. So I, we're going to be giving away some best ofs tomorrow. And that's I, the awards. And I don't know who to give mine. I have an idea who to give mine to. So who are you thinking? Uh, you I can't to say, can't to say, say yeah. at this point. Um, but, you know, I I guess I'm going to have to go back and relook at the schedule and see who I actually talk to and make a decision. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to get them here, though. That's going to be maybe the challenge. But uh, I think we're going to win s <laughs> announce some people tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon. So okay. what time are you supposed to start that for the announcement? My understanding um, is that our last interview is at about 1.50. So then we'll jump right into and then giving we'll away. Jump in from two to two thirty. Giving some awards giving away. Some awards, yeah. Yeah, we got some nice, uh, really nice awards that Scott has put together. They're beautiful. And, but uh, if if you've hang out with us, if you've hung out with us on the East Coast, we definitely appreciate it. I know most of you were at work all day while we were live. Maybe got home, we were able to watch a bit of live content. No matter where you're at, uh, we want you to say, put a comment in Facebook or wherever it may be. You can always email me directly at geeknews at gmail.com. Don't forget if you want to become a podcaster and you want to maybe even come with us next year, it's really simple to get it started with a tech show. And you can do that at blueberry.com. Get a 30-day free trial by using the promo code BLUBRRY004. If you're looking just to get a website going and a domain up, something where you can uh, really kind of start to put your life online and uh, have an online presence and do some of the cool things we do, you can get something over at GoDaddy by going to uh, geeknesscentral.com forward slash GoDaddy and save some money on GoDaddy products and services. All the money that you, all the products and services that you buy through the stuff that we've promoted during the show goes directly back to the team and be able to support the coverage here. We are small independents. We're small independent content creators. We're not backed by any major corporation. The team members are here are all here on their own dime. They're paying for their hotels, their food. So your contributions to the show and for our coverage, everything comes back to the team so that uh, we can afford to do this in the future. And uh, many of us are here because we, we love it for sure, but uh, it's not an inexpensive undertaking to come Vegas. Many of our team members have regular JOBs and they're taking time, they're taking PTO off from work. So not only, you know, maybe they're in a job there where they get paid PTO, but if they don't, they're, you know, they're out of their income for the week. So we hope that you'll support our content. We're not a CNET. We're not a tech crunch. We're not an end gadget. We don't have 30 people in the trailer. They're all on salary, all on expense accounts. We're on our own expense accounts here. I hope you understand that. That's been the whole basis of the coverage we've done here at CES in the past. We've mentioned a few ways where you can help the show out. The easiest way to help the show out is go over to techpodcast.com. There's a PayPal link on the website. All you got to do is click the PayPal link to put a donation. So even if you've saved any money or gotten any ideas on products and services of something that you may want to buy from this show, we hope that you throw us a dime, a nickel, quarter, 10, 15, 20, 100 bucks, a thousand dollars is appreciated too. Um, and if you do that kind of a donation, we'll definitely be talking about you. So uh, I'm going to wrap the, the coverage up here uh, for today. And we'll again, we'll be back tomorrow at 9 p 9 a.m. Pacific. 12 Eastern, we'll go to 2 p.m. Pacific, 
5 Eastern. Join us for the coverage tomorrow here, the Tech Podcast Network coverage, and the entire team. We've got Plug It's Live. We've got the Tech Crunch. We've got the Gadget Professor and geeknewscentral.com. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Everyone have a great evening. Thanks for being here with us here at CES 2020.